Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. On this episode, we are going to be doing uh, the castle. What was it called again? I really have no idea. So, basically this castle, we have these screws that we have to turn to make these platforms go, and that'll be our basis up for the puzzles in this game. Of course, doing it made, uh, <clears throat> made us get our first coin. So we're going to quickly spin this make this come up and then whoops we're gonna do that luckily we have another ice flower ready for us that we can use to freeze these uh, spiked things I, I'm really bad with um, naming Mario enemies like I know like famous ones like of course everyone knows what a dry bones is and everyone knows what a bunch of things are but you never know sometimes so we're gonna spin this next screw here we gotta spin it all the way to the right um, we could have used the uh, we could have used that to crush the Koopas that were down there, but I just chose to use my Ice Flower because using it is, like, too good. Uh, we're going to use that to kill that guy, and then we got a next screw here. So we're going to move that all the way to the right, and I'm going to keep spinning because I want these guys to pass by first. So I can just run and jump, and run and jump, and run and jump. Then we're going to go all the way up here. Uh, if we come over here... Sorry. Uh, there we go. We got a one-up mushroom here. So we're going to spin these across to the side because we can. Oh, and I didn't think of that all the way. But when he's frozen, we can just sort of crush him. Coming up the green pipe to the next section of the level, we have our midpoint. Um, this Koopa right here cannot be killed with uh, the uh, ice flower because he's too big. So... See if we just shoot the ice flower at him, he just kind of breaks free. So we're going to sink him into the quicksand so we can't really do anything about that. And then, uh, whoops. And then we're just going to sort of create a ladder and move on up. I'm going to wait over here so I can hit this and of course it'll give us another ice flower. Not that we really needed it, but, you know, it's nice to have it just in case. Throw that. Move this one up. And create ourselves a ladder. Huh. Oh. oh, I still made it up. That's really nice. Oh. If we keep going up and up, we got another puzzle here. Spin these guys to the side. Oh. And up here we got a red pipe, hidden inside of a block. Go inside the red pipe and we have a puzzle here. Now, we have to get these blocks to kill these other blocks. But, we need to get them to kill the one on the top there, so what we do is this, break it apart, and there we have a free access to the coin. But, now we have to wait for these guys to sort of pass by, or else they'll just sort of kill us. So, narrowly avoid these guys, get the coin. This is the first coin in the game I feel that requires you to actually think about what you have to do before grabbing the coin. All the rest are sort of just in hidden areas, but that one's sort of not really a puzzle, but it's it's definitely harder than the other ones. Take this one up. Cool. I almost got owned by that dry bones. Oh my goodness. And there you almost saw me get crushed. I'm sure I'll die a couple times in this LP because as the game gets harder, so so will, you know, <laughs> my chances of living. Uh, basically what you have to do here is not do what I was about to do, but just kind of go down a pipe and go wee and up right up to the top. Uh, we can just do a ground pound on top of these guys to knock them out for a bit, but like I said, you can't, you can't kill them with fire flowers. So we're going to come up here. Here's our fire flower. We need to use the dry bones in order to get ourselves up there because you can't jump that high. And like I said, dry bones are immune to fire, so no point in even trying that. Going through boss doors gives you an extended timer, which isn't really needed, but it, it helps sometimes. Kamek is going to enchant something here. Oh, he's going to enchant him. What's going to happen? He's going to start spinning. We, uh, but we're just going to jump on him anyway. And like I said, this game whoops, did a little too early. This game sort of has the same formula. Jump, 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 and then we're done. I really like what Kamek does to enemies in this game. It sort of makes it kind of half interesting. But at the same time, like, come on, Kamek. 
You've never done anything good except enchant Baby Bowser in Yoshi's Island. So, we got a nice path created over there. And what's going on meanwhile at Peach's Castle? Oh, Kamek's doing something. Oh, he started creating a vortex around the castle. That can't be good. This can't be good. What are you are thinking about the pot? Anyway, moving on. This is kind of like the piranha plant game that we did earlier, except I'll show you the different ones. The first one is when we run into a hammer bros. It's not hammer bros, it's the fire bros, but it's pretty simple. Just kind of jump up from underneath him when he's facing the opposite direction and you get the chest. Usually it's a star or a mushroom, like it never really changes. And we get another star. Um, also we have these Goombas. Get over here, Goomba. There we go. Every time you move, everything else moves. It is possible to do it without hitting anything, but, you know, I'm, I'm here to show you the purpose of doing these. Collecting all those, or hitting all those isn't enough to get a 1-up, but, you know, we get a star out of it, so I'm sure that's worth it in some alternate universe. And then, of course, we have an acorn shroom here, which we can just run and grab, and that will get added to our inventory, too. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys about pipes. Pipes? There's one pipe in every world, and the pipes are used to warp between worlds. We only have the first two unlocked right now, so I can either launch to acorn plains or I can get out of the pipe here. So let's go to layer, er, acorn plains, sorry. And it'll take us straight up to one or the beginning of the world. Now here we have to fight Nabbit. Now like I said, you have to catch Nabbit. This is the only time where star power is really useful because star power makes you run really fast from the beginning of the level. So basically we're going to use that and we have to catch Nabbit. We have 100 seconds to catch Nabbit. But using the star we can just be like, Rah! and then we caught him. Uh, it usually takes a bit longer to catch him, but yeah. From catching Nabbit, we'll always get one of these. These are Power P Acorn. Think like the the Power P from Mario Bros. 3. It makes you fly infinitely using your uh, makes you fly infinitely using your Acorn suit, so you can take as many uh, as you need to get there. It's useful in a couple levels, but I'm probably not going to use it for a while because using it well sparingly is you know, nice. Also, I'll use it in a pinch, but no nothing to really complete anything, because, well, this is, you know, an LP. I'm trying to teach you guys how to play the game, not how to cheat your way through the game. He says using Yoshi in one blooper. Um, tips and tricks are, are good, but using the power P, I'm just not going to use that for most levels. Uh, there's some levels that I would say are really beneficial for using the power P, and you can use them in that. And I'm not going to say don't use them, because like there isn't much limit to power P's. Once you catch Nabbit in every world, you'll just be able to catch Nabbit in every world again and again. So it's not like you won't ever not have an option to catch Nabbit. So, it, it's just an extra thing that's in the game. That was almost a perfect 1-up thing. I collected 9 1-ups from that level. So, if ever I need to use 54 lives real quick, I'm all set. Alright, moving on with the game. We have one more mushroom house, but I'm going to pass by on that real quick. Now we're going to take on 1-4. Okay, these are spikes. These enemies are, as you guessed it, returning from uh, Mario Bros. 3. Uh, I believe that was where they made their first appearance. Um, if you guys don't remember, um, spikes were enemies in... I believe they first appeared in the Giant World. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought I was about to die there. They have first appeared in the Giant World, where you, they just kind of spit these balls out at you and, you know throw them at you. Kind of like here, except in that game they threw them directly across the stage at you, whereas in this game they sort of have, you know, obey gravity. So that's kind of annoying. 
uh, we can freeze them, of course. And uh, there's a hidden pipe up there, which we're going to quickly grab. Oh, there we go. I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to get that. Top of this pipe is some of these blocks from Super Mario World. We're just going to go down there and ignore them. And here we go. I did that just so I could kill that guy in fashion. Collect some coins. And keep going. Um, this level also has the hidden level in it. Uh, so we'll be doing that shortly after. Uh, if we come down here, we'll see there's a pipe here. So we're going to quickly go down here. Because inside here is what we need to complete the level. We have a mini mushroom and it lets us run up walls. It also lets us generally run really fast. So we're just gonna use it. If we run, we can run and 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 whoa, there we go. So, using the mini mushroom, whoa. Uh, I'm gonna quickly come in here and do this. Woo, and get shot up the top. Uh, normally I wouldn't do the level in this order, but I'm doing it here because it's a lot easier. Because if you using the mini mushroom is, is uh, essentially uh, losing your large power up, you are small Mario now. Uh, no pun intended there. So, well, you know, pun it a, a little bit intended. But so basically I'm going to get this out of the way now so I can quickly finish it up. So we got all the star coins, and this is the secret exit here that takes you to one uh, piranha plant, I think. Something like that. Anyway, we're going to quickly jump to the halfway marker so I can run through the rest of this level for you. And I'm actually, oh my goodness, I'm actually really worried now because, ah, oh, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to quickly jump forward for you guys, and I'll meet you guys at the halfway point. Alright, at the halfway point now, I've just been running through the level. Whoa, I almost died there. You guys would not believe how close that was. Ugh. This level is extremely hard to run through and dodge the spikes at the same time. I'll just say that. But, I will prevail. Of course, having to wait here isn't that much fun. Hopefully I can make it through this without dying. I sure can. Here we got some more of these, and we'll just run through and grab the end of level point. That's why I wanted to do that level as Little Mario first, just because I wouldn't ha want to have to go and get the uh, go and get the uh, the m m m m small mushroom again. Alrighty, so we're gonna do one more level here. We have one five of Layer Cake Desert, Dry Desert Mushroom. Whoa, ho, 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 there we go. Ugh. So, this level, you have spikes, except they're throwing things down at you this time. No big deal. So, we're just going to quickly come down here, get the first... Oh, my goodness! Oh, I don't know what happened there. I think my my uh, left hand accidentally hit my L trigger. I have no idea why I did that, but I guarantee you it was an accident. I almost died. So, we want to keep... Oh, my goodness! Oh! Oh, oh, that was really close. We're going to keep this acorn shroom here, because, well, it's too good. <clears throat> um, this next star coin here, you need the acorn shroom to get it. Luckily, we already had it, so... Or, we already got to the top before we lost it. Ha, ha, ha. So, there we go. Um, this next... Whoa. Whoa. We're going to quickly get these, because I have a feeling we'll be getting another acorn shroom from this. Oh. Didn't expect it to fan out like that. There we go. Oh, uh, basically there's a pipe down here. We want to quickly go to that. It doesn't require the acorn shroom to do it, but it's, you know, really helpful to be able to glide down to anything rather than simply do a free fall down. Here we got a power block, but don't fucking throw it. Because if you do and the coin goes through the hole, well, then you can't get the coin. You'll have to go back up the pipe and then back down the pipe. It's not like it's gone forever, but I mean, like, it's just annoying to have to get it again. Jumping on here, we're going to go through this quick auto-scroll thing. Just dodge the spikes, or in the case that you're, you know, 
awesome, you don't even need to. And the game will auto dodge them for you. And then of course we're going to ground pound down onto the top of the thing. With 60 lives, we're hanging pretty and we have all three star coins in this level. So with that, I think that's it for this episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. So on the next episode, we're going to quickly do the secret. We'll finish 1-6 because this, this world has a lot of levels. And then after that, we'll be done with Morton Cooper Jr. as our final boss. So until next time, this has been Garage Door Opener. See you guys later.